Hey guys, I'm Saga from Techworks. In this video, we will see how does the camera on the Redmi Note 4 performs against that of the Moto G5 Plus. Before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the amazing videos coming up on this channel. Now let's start by getting the specs out of the way. The Redmi Note 4 has a 13 megapixel rear camera with f2.2 aperture, face detect autofocus, and two tone flash. The Moto G5 Plus, on the other hand, comes with a 12 megapixel rear camera with dual autofocus pixels, f1.7 aperture, and color balancing dual LED flash. At the front, Redmi Note 4 has a 5 megapixel camera with f2.2 aperture, while the Moto G5 Plus has a 5 megapixel camera with a wide angle lens and f2.2 aperture. Both these phones have a simple and intuitive camera interface. On the Moto G5 Plus, you get manual controls over focus, exposure, ISO, white balance, and shutter speed in the Pro mode while the manual mode on the Redmi Note 4 allows you to only adjust the white balance and ISO. Now with the specs shocked out, let us take a look at and compare the images and videos taken from these smartphones. The first thing you notice, images from the Moto G5 Plus are slightly saturated and have a bit warmer color tones, while the ones from the Redmi Note 4 have cooler color tones. The images from the Moto G5 Plus are also a lot sharper compared to the ones from the Redmi Note 4. When in ample light, both these phones capture good images but the Redmi Note 4 really struggles at capturing a lot of details in the images. While taking close-up shots, the minimum focusing distance on the Moto G5 Plus is better, so you can get a lot closer to the subject. Both these phones take a bit longer to focus on very close objects, so tapping on the subject that you want to be in focus helps them in focusing a bit faster. Due to the f1.7 aperture on the Moto G5 Plus, the background is blurred out a bit more, making the images look better. Now while shooting in HDR mode, surprisingly, the Redmi Note 4 does a better job. Colors look more vibrant, shadows and highlights are preserved very nicely, and the overall images look better than those from the Moto G5 Plus. As the light starts to go down, we begin to see a big difference in the images from both these phones. Images from the Moto G5 Plus are a lot cleaner and sharper, and it still manages to capture better colors. Neither of these cameras have optical image stabilization, but the Moto G5 Plus has electronic stabilization, and that combined with the f1.7 aperture, helps it capture detailed sharper images than the Redmi Note 4 in these lighting conditions. The Moto G5 Plus has a wider lens on the front-facing camera, but the Redmi Note 4 lets in a bit more light, making the overall images from its front-facing camera look slightly better. Coming to the video performance, while shooting in 1080p, only the Moto G5 Plus offers software stabilization. Colors in the video from the Redmi Note 4 are a lot saturated. Moto G5 Plus captures a lot of ambient noise while recording while the Redmi Note 4 does a good job reducing those levels. Overall, the video from the Moto G5 Plus looks better in this comparison since it's a lot stable. So in this comparison, Moto G5 Plus takes better images and videos than the Redmi Note 4 in most of the situations. So if you want to choose between these two devices based on their camera alone, go with the Moto G5 Plus. But if you don't want to spend over 15,000 rupees on a smartphone, the Redmi Note 4 starts at 10,000 rupees and it also takes decent images if you are in good lighting situations. In that case, it all comes down to the price to performance ratio which is better for the Redmi Note 4. I personally will go with the Moto G5 Plus for its camera. Let me know in the comment section which one would you guys choose. That is it for this video guys. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to the channel for more quality tech videos like this. You can also check out some of the other videos on this channel. This has been Saga and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.